Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and today let's unbox and take a quick look at Samsung's larger flagship for 2017, the Galaxy S8 Plus. Removing the plastic, taking the box out, opening it up, we've got the black S8 Plus. Feels smaller than I expected it to. Peeling the plastic off again, uh, let's set this phone aside for the time being. We then have a SIM ejector tool, the regular reading material. Here is the SAR value information for those who want it. We then have a USB Type-C cable, AKG earphones worth $99 with replaceable ear tips, the adaptive fast charger, a micro USB to Type-C converter and a Type-C OTG adapter. Just like the Galaxy S8, the S8 Plus also retains the 3.5mm headphone jack at the bottom. Here you can also find the USB Type-C port, the primary microphone and the speaker. The power button is located to the right. Up top we've got a noise cancelling microphone and a hybrid tray. So here you can add either two SIMs or a SIM and a micro SD card. The volume rockers and a dedicated Bixby key are located to the left. To the front on top we've got the notification LED, sensors, earpiece, an 8 megapixel front facing camera and the iris scanner. Now that's followed by a 6.2 inch Super AMOLED display. Samsung markets this as the infinity display due to the excellent 84% screen to body ratio. The aspect ratio is 18.5 is to 9 meaning it's quite narrow and the overall footprint is smaller than that of say an iPhone 7 plus. The resolution is higher. It's Quad HD Plus that's 1440 by 2960 pixels meaning a pixel density of about 530 pixels per inch. The S8 Plus resorts to on-screen keys but the home key has force touch enabled and is built into the display so you can press it at any time. The fingerprint scanner has been moved to the back and I've been finding this placement extremely awkward on the regular S8 so I'm sure I'm gonna hit it here on the S8 Plus as well. I'm probably just gonna resort to using the iris scanner like I've been doing with the S8. Optionally, the less secure but easier to use face deduction is also available. So to the back, apart from this fingerprint sensor, we also get a 12 megapixel camera, a heart rate sensor and a single LED flash. That's followed by Samsung branding. The 3D glass back is also covered by Gorilla Glass and looks great but happens to be a fingerprint magnet. Here's the S8 Plus side by side with the regular S8. It's much bigger thanks to its larger display so single handed usage is not going to be an option here. The 3D Gorilla Glass 5 on both sides ensures the S8 Plus feels extremely premium but extremely slippery as well. Anyway, underneath the hood this S8 Plus is also powered by the Exynos 8895 chip. So that's two sets of quad cores, four high powered custom cores clocked up to 2.3 GHz and four power efficient Cortex A53 cores clocked up to 1.7 GHz. Mali G71 MP20 handles GPU duties. We've got 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of onboard storage and all this is backed up by a 3500 mAh battery. Note that there's another variant of the S8 Plus that comes with the Snapdragon 835 chip underneath and in select regions we also get 6 gig RAM variants. Anyway the S8 Plus runs on Android Nougat with Samsung Experience 8.1 on top. Well that's what Samsung's officially calling it now. This is similar to Grace UI that we saw with the Galaxy Note 7. If you've not seen my S8 unboxing, here's the software information again. The launcher and the icons have been redesigned and seen nice. There's not a lot of bloat here. Given its nougat split screen is available, Samsung regulars like the edge screen functionality and the always on display functionality return. Note that the home key is usable even with the screen off. The 12 megapixel camera to the back is similar to the one from the S7 but with better processing, especially multi-frame processing. This is when the camera takes a bunch of images when you shoot and picks, out, picks the best one out for you. These samples were quickly shot around the office. Let me know what you thought about them. The hardware itself is a marginal upgrade over the S7. Uh, it's still f1.7 aperture with dual pixel lot of focus. So the S8 Plus is priced at $840 in the United States which translates to about 55,000 rupees in India but it's priced over 67,000 rupees here in India. While that's expensive, it does look better and sport improved internals over other phones in this price segment. So is this something I'd recommend? Well, I'm gonna continue testing this one out and I'll have more for you in my full review. 
in the meantime if you do want to pick an SA plus up i'll leave direct links in the description below use them it helps the channel out so that's it for this quick unboxing and hands-on with the galaxy s8 plus give this video a thumbs up if you liked it vote it down if you didn't and for more coverage on the s8 plus hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already if you have already subscribed hit that bell icon to make sure you get notified each time a new video goes live here on c4 retech so that's it for now thanks a lot for watching till next time this year's ash you've been watching c4 retech and i'm signing off for now you guys have a great day bye bye now